Now, let's quickly go over the directory structure of our Adonis JS application. Adonis JS makes use of the MVC architectural pattern coupled with a conventional set of files and directories to speed the development process and eliminate the need of wiring the application by hand. We will start from the top all the way down to the bottom. The app directory is where we'll be writing the bulk of our application code, such as controllers, models, middlewares, exceptions, and so on. The build directory, as we have seen from the last lesson, contains the compiled JavaScript code. The commands directory contains all our application-specific H commands. The config directory contains configuration settings for our application and other installed Adonis JS packages. The contracts directory contains interfaces, types, enums, and any other TypeScript constructs. The providers directory contains our application-specific service providers which must be registered inside the .adonisrc.json file. The public directory contains all front-end related assets such as images, CSS, JavaScript, and so on. Basically, this directory contains anything we want exposed to the internet. The resources directory contains the views directory, which contains all our application view files. Also, the resources directory can contain uncompiled front-end assets like SAS files or front-end JavaScript and so on. The stats directory contains the files that must be loaded only once during the initial boot process, such as knl.ts where we register all our application middlewares and routes.ts where we define our application routes. The .adonisrc.json file configures the workspace for an Adonis.js project. The application runtime Ace commands and project dependencies rely on this file to understand the requirement for our application. By default, this file contains the bare minimum config required to run our application, but other configuration options can be added to it. The .env file holds environment variables for most of our application configuration settings. The .eslint-ignore file and the .eslintrc.json file contains eslint settings for linting our TypeScript code. As we've already seen in previous lessons, the S file is used for executing Adonis.js or our application-specific commands. The server.ts file is the entry point for booting our application and starting the HTTP server. Then the tsconfig.json file contains the configurations for the TypeScript compiler. Though not included by default, the database directory contains the database migrations and CDA files. Just like the database directory, some other directories that are not included by default will be created as we begin to use them. 